Hello and welcome to Tech Rage. Do you guys remember the good old days of heartily bowling in your living room and accidentally punching your television while playing virtual boxing? Well, Nair can bring those old Wii memories into the modern era with the Dolphin emulator and the Mayflash Dolphin Bar. To start, you need to download the Dolphin emulator, which is linked in the video description. I very much recommend you download the nightly builds as opposed to the stable build as you get a lot of extra functionality and bug fixes with no real downsides. I've never had it crash yet. And before we go any further, just kudos to Dolphin. It is not only the best GameCube emulator ever, it is not only the best Wii emulator ever, it's the best emulator ever. You simply download it and play. No BIOSes, no plugins, actual thoughtfulness in regards to the user interface and excellent compatibility that does everything the original console did and more. It's a better experience than actually playing on the Wii. While you can set a control scheme with your mouse and keyboard, that doesn't work so well with controls like the Wii's. So step two is getting the controller working. There are two ways to do this. All you need is a Bluetooth enabled PC. If you have an old school Wii remote, one without Wii Motion Plus, you can simply pair the Wiimote in Dolphin by selecting Use Real Wiimote. If you have a newer Wiimote with Wii Motion Plus, you will likely need to download the Toshiba Bluetooth stack and pair with the Wiimote using that though the newest Dolphin nightly builds have largely fixed this problem. However, the cleanest solution and my preferred one is to simply buy a Mayflash Dolphin bar, which is a USB sensor bar that includes its own Bluetooth adapter and drivers to work with all Wii remotes. It's basically plug and play, though you might want to go to Mayflash's website and update the firmware. I think there's some Windows 10 issues there. If you don't have a Dolphin bar and you can pair your Wiimote successfully using Bluetooth, then you will still need to buy a sensor bar for the top of the PC. You can buy ones powered by a couple of AA batteries like this one for pretty cheap. Though if you are really cheaping out, all the sensor bar is is two different points of infrared that the Wiimote uses to tell where it is. You can literally use two candles if you wanted and get a working result. I still recommend getting the Dolphin bar as it has a few extra functionalities such as using the Wiimote as a mouse, which can be cool. As you probably can't see, I have the Dolphin Bar glued to the top of my center monitor, but I also have a battery powered sensor bar that goes on my TV. And whenever I have Dolphin running on the top screen, it is mirrored to my TV so I can have some fun in bed. Set the Dolphin Bar to mode 4. This is controller mode and load the Dolphin. Turn the Wii Mode on and it will automatically pair. Now in Dolphin, just select the game you want to play and voila. The Wiimotes will work fine with any extra peripherals such as the Nunchuck and the Classic Controller and Dolphin even includes options to configure a balance board if you're a Wii Fit fanatic. So that will give you an experience as good as playing on a Wii. But the Wii is an outdated piece of hardware that only had like standard definition graphics. Luckily Dolphin includes all the tools to fix that. Simply go to Graphics and then to Enhancements and you will be able to increase resolution up to 5K and anti-aliasing up to 8 times. At high definition, Dolphin is not hard to run, with most texture issues being resolved in the nightly builds, though you may have to tweak settings per game if you're on the stable build. Luckily, Dolphin includes a wiki on pretty much every single Wii game and settings you have to run smoothly. I was able to run all games at HD on a GTX 460 and with anti-aliasing turned off on Intel integrated graphics. Aside from resolution, you can also change quite a few options such as V-Sync, uh, full screen modes and stereoscopic 3D. I've touched on this in a couple of videos before, but you can run your Wii games in full stereoscopic 3D. Not all titles support it well, but some support it excellently. You can also adjust all your typical Wii settings such as sensor bar position and if you're real keen, you can even run the full Wii menu and virtual console. This is a really powerful emulator. There are options for recording movies as well, I haven't tried them yet but will be when actually editing this video, so hopefully they work well. The only issues currently seem to be with sound using the Wiimote speaker, being, you know, it's not great, but it's rapidly being fixed. Dolphin have a very active and friendly community and maintain a monthly development blog, which goes into the nitty gritty about each little improvement made to the emulator. And I'm pretty sure that the Wiimote speaker bug will be fixed by the time this video is published, which will be three weeks after I filmed it. I wish every console emulator had the talents of the Dolphin developer team behind them because using Dolphin doesn't feel like you're emulating a console game. It feels like you're playing a PC game. And bam, that's how you relive those memories of bowling in front of the TV. 
Thanks for watching Tech Dredge. If you like this video, press that like button and subscribe to the channel for a new video every week. Next week, I'm looking at my super awesome cinema camera, the Blackmagic Ursa. Even if you're not a camera geek, I think you'll love seeing what this thing can do. Uh, see you then, and have a good one.